Refugees continue to stream across the Chad-Sudan border, some seven weeks since Sudan's war started. The number reaching Chad has reached 100,000, according to the UN. Dawood Adam Ishak says he is terrified of the paramilitary rapid support forces, which have been accused of much of the violence that is tearing apart Sudan, which these pictures from social media purport to show. He says an armed group linked to the RSF forced him out of his home. Yes, I met them. When they came, they forced us to leave. They came at night when we were sleeping, so we woke up and fled. The UN says the speed at which refugees have arrived is exceeding expectations. The planning figure for refugees across the border into Chad at the beginning of the crisis was 100,000, which we surpassed already within six weeks. And we are seeing a lot of refugees cross the border every day, not just only Chad, but neighboring country. After a war between Sudan's government and Darfur rebels began in 2003, UN peacekeepers were deployed in the region to prevent violence. That mission came to an end in 2020, partly due to fatigue from nations, providing troops and a lack of progress as violence continued, according to some experts. Intercommunal violence sparked by Sudan's new civil war has spiralled again in recent weeks. Asked if there is an argument for a UN peacekeeping mission to resume in Darfur, considering the recent flare-up, one expert replied. Uh, yes, I mean, there's a really quick answer for you. Yes, um, because of the level of violence and also because of the potential um, for that violence to spread also Uh, outside, you know, into Chad, uh, across borders as well. UN peacekeeping missions must be instigated by a majority vote by the UN Security Council, with no veto from permanent members. Asked if there is the political will for this, Walter Dorn, a professor at the Royal Military College and the Canadian Forces College, said... At present, it doesn't look like there's the political will to create a peacekeeping force in Darfur. But as the situation gets worse, there will be increased calls to do so. The Security Council has not created a large multidimensional UN mission <clears throat> with a, a strong peacekeeping component uh, in about eight years. VOA reached out to most of the permanent and non-permanent member nations of the Security Council. The US mission to the UN said this in a statement. The actions of the two warring parties have caused immense suffering and harm to the people of Sudan, and we are deeply concerned by ongoing fighting in Sudan's Darfur region. We are committed to pressing both sides to cease hostilities. Henry Wilkins for VOA News, Kufrun, Chad.